In this little video tutorial, we're going to take a look at using Videolicious to create a digital story. Uh, Videolicious is kind of like a slideshow that you can narrate over. So when you first launch it, you are going to um, select your shots, and this is going to grab from your camera roll, so you have to allow it access to your camera roll. So I'm going to um, just pick multiple shots here that I'm going to insert into my presentation, and I'm going to hit Save up in the top right-hand corner. Now I'm going to be prompted to tell my story. So uh, this is a good place to have something scripted. And uh, when I launch it, it's going to uh, load my camera. And then it's going to allow me to tell my story. So it's going to capture me. So down in the lower left-hand corner, I'm going to press the record option. And then I'm going to file through my pictures and tell the story. So up in the top right hand, you can see that I can switch the camera around uh, so that it's capturing on the other side of my iPad if I wanted to film or record somebody else. Here I'm going to kind of um, have this serve as a way that I'm going to narrate. So I can also choose to import uh, some other digital story or I can choose to just go with the microphone. So um, down here is my slide tray and I'm going to flip through my slides here in a minute. So I'm going to press my record button and it's going to give me my countdown. I'm going to say, okay, so my name is Tony Delora. This is a day in the life of a tech coach in New Zealand. So when I um, walk into my office, I'm going to see um, Brandon Pranger's desk. And Brandon is out today because he's updating iPads in the elementary school. Um, and then there is uh, Captain Steve Ronius uh, busily working away at his desk. And then here's the man behind all the scenes, Dan Yonker. He is making sure your network is running smoothly and then Dean Day who is making sure all of your equipment is running and then there's Robin Parks who is always very friendly to greet you at the front door and take your broken iPads. I can also tap back on my face and this is going to bring me back to recording so this has been my story of a day in the life of uh, in the tech department here. so thank you for listening. When I'm done I'm just going to simply hit uh, the done recording feature and it's going to create a little preview for me and then I can go back and I can either choose to delete it or I can save it so I'll just click save and then I can also choose to create a little bit of theme music to go behind it all creative commons very nice so this is um, oh soul jazz car ride I'm gonna just turn my volume down a little bit I'm gonna hit save to that and it's going to generate a preview again I can choose to watch it by hitting the play button in the lower left hand corner um, or I can uh, choose to give it a nice little filter, um, so change my video effects. Uh, I can hit save again, and I can do a quick upload. Um, I'm going to hit save, and this is going to allow me to save it to my camera roll. And from there, I can upload it into my Google Drive app, or I can send it off via email or even YouTube. So. Uh, so once your video is done saving, uh, it's going to upload it to the cloud. I can choose to again watch it or I can um, share this video out. So my sharing options again are the email, Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter. Um, but I'm just going to hit done and I'm going to scrunch that back up and show you that it showed up in my photo rolls here, or my camera roll I should say. So if I go into my camera roll, here is my video. I can also choose now to upload it. Um, into that. So go back in there so you can see it. So uh, there it is. That's how you're going to use Videolicious to create a uh, really cool presentation slash slideshow uh, slash tutorial however you want to use it. Be creative.